What are you doing? I'm shark napping. <laughs> Happy Monday, everybody. I am Trace, and of course, you all know Dr. Kiki. Thanks for watching Howdy. D News. Today is Viewer Question Monday, and we liked this one from Peyton Jones. How do marine animals, like dolphins, for example, sleep? In a seminal study from the University of Zurich, over 150 animal species across invertebrates, amphibians, fish, reptiles, birds, mammals, they looked at how they sleeped. And they assure you that every animal sleeps in some way, although some animals do it very differently from us. Even microbes have a sleep-wake cycle. Yeah, because organisms are all different and why we sleep is still so much of a mystery, researchers had to define what they mean by sleep. Yeah, they used the definition put forth by French scientific psychologist Henri Pierron in 1913. Here they are, there are four of them. A stereotypic or species-specific sleep posture, for example, laying down. The maintenance of behavioral quiescence, basically inactivity or dormancy. Makes sense. An elevation of arousal threshold, which may be reflected in the intensity of an arousing stimulus and or the frequency, latency, or duration of arousal response. Basically, they take effort to get the organism to react, showing it is asleep and not just staring at the wall. Right. And finally, state reversibility with stimulation. We can wake them up. With this in mind, they looked at all these different animals and explored their sleep. Though sleeping often involves laying down, marine animals take a slightly different tack. It's a, it's a marine pun. <laughs> dolphins are mammals and don't have gills, so they have to surface to breathe. But famously, dolphins maintain a breathing cycle by shutting off one of the hemispheres of their brain. Wish I could do that sometimes. But anyway, they close their opposite eye to enter uni hemispheric slow wave sleep. The active half of their brain keeps them swimming and will keep track of their need to surface for air while the sleeping half dips into slow wave sleep. Scientists think that slow wave sleep helps with consolidation of memories and also helps the brain recover from the day's work. After four hours, the dolphin's gonna open their eye and switch hemispheres and close their other eye, resting the other half of their brain. We know this because they've hooked dolphins up to electroencephalographs and measured their brain waves. Science is so cool. Though different species of dolphin can sleep differently, through observations in zoos and aquariums, we know some dolphins perform a behavior called logging, a deep sleep where the animals float at the surface like a log, logging, get mm, it? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Allowing them to breathe and rest. And others, like the river-dwelling Indus dolphins, they never stop swimming. And they sleep for seven hours that way, but sometimes only for seconds at a time. There's even evidence of dolphins having REM sleep, which is really cool, although it's pretty slight evidence. The sleep stage where humans typically would dream. Dolphins might have that too. Fish, on the other hand, don't close their eyes. Yeah, they don't have eyelids. No. And also don't have signs of rapid eye movement sleep. Nevertheless, they do sleep. Studies done recently in behavioral brain research, PLOS biology, and nature determined zebrafish have slower breathing cycles in sleep, take naps, can suffer from sleep deprivation, and are governed by melatonin, just like us, which regulates their sleeping cycle based on ambient light. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they have problems with their iPads. The National Sleep Foundation describes fish snoozing as a daydreaming state where their metabolic rate decreases, allowing the body to restore itself. Though how that manifests is obviously going to be different across species. I think you might be sensing a theme here. The parrotfish, for example, covers itself in a cocoon of mucus, like a disgusting sleeping bag. Scientists don't know why, but they think it might be to protect them from tiny parasites that normally attack them when they're awake, like a mucosal mosquito net. We can't leave out sharks. Sharks have to keep water flowing through their gills to breathe. So it's true that some sharks never stop swimming, but others totally can stop. They stop swimming to sleep without suffocating. Some very ancient sharks use buckle pumping to force water over their gills while they're sitting still. It's sort of like swallowing water constantly using their cheek muscles and it keeps air flowing and allows them to be inactive and motionless for a little while. But of course, not all species do this. Some of them have to swim constantly. and They'll enter a period of inactivity for a few minutes at a time throughout the day. Maybe we should just call them like shark naps instead of cat naps. Thanks for your question, Peyton. Do you guys have science questions? We love answering them. And now we have a subreddit. You can go to reddit.com slash r slash dnews and ask your questions there. Or you can also tweet at us at dnews or just leave them down in the comments if you want. Make sure you subscribe. Also, go find Kiki. At Dr. Kiki. She's great. <laughs>